hello guys welcome back to with show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix naraka blade point is having crushing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen black screen and even more issues and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this so the first one is all about if you are having the trouble you need to start with a simple restart and that is what you have to do so the first thing just go over here in the start click on this one now go to restart after restart is successfully done just launch the steam once again and try to play the game for many users this did work it and you can try this out as well this is actually a basic step so just start with this one and if this is not working we need to move to next step that is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that we just need to click over here in the game right click and go to properties go to local file as you can see the game is around 28.77 gb so just click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is <clears throat> if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step that is why the verify integrity of game file is an important step sometimes we'll be having a lot of files in the game and if any one of them is corrupted we'll be having these issues or if any files is completely you know if missing we'll be having a lot of trouble so that is why verify integrity of game file is one of the main steps should be done from our end in order to fix these kind of issues such as crashing won't launch or not loading freezing and stuttering black screen low fps drop stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issues so let this get completed to 100 percentage we will move to the next step next step after trying this if it's still not working we need to move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder we have two method one we have a shortcut from the steam itself to the installation folder another one we need to navigate to the installation folder using a file explorer so i'll show you first how to navigate to the installation folder using a file explorer because down the road we need to know how to navigate to this first open local disk c now go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common from here we have to find naraka blade point now from here we need to open the application so this is what it is so try launching the game from here for many users this did work it so this is about how to navigate to the installation folder from the file explorer apart from that there is one more step that is known as we can navigate to the same using shortcut in the steam that is right click on the game go to properties go to local file click on browse we are very easily redirected to if you look at the top you can see that very easily redirected to the installation folder so now launch the game this did work it for many users next step is all about we need to run the game as an administrator for that we need to go to the installation folder hence we are already in the installation folder i'm going to show you from here just select the application after navigate to the installation folder using the steam shortcut once after that right click and go to show more options and go to properties go to compatibility now from here click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay and launch the game this is the step we need to try out this is an important step the street worker for many users and you can try this out as well there is finally one more step that i would like to add that is just right click over here go to show more options and go to properties compatibility now from here go to under the compatibility select this one and change this to windows 7 the first go for apply and go for okay and see whether that is going to help you guys out if windows 7 is not working we need to change this to windows 8 for that just do the same go over here change this to windows 8 now go for apply and go for okay and try to launch the game sometimes this might work if this is not working then i request you can change this one that is go to show more options and properties for the compatibility change this one compatibility mode should be changed keep run this program as an administrator now go for apply and go for okay once you made this change now go to the next step next step is make sure the windows language is set into english time and region is correct and uh, that is what we have to do for that just go over here in the search now go to settings from here go to time and language on the left now from here go to language and region over here you will be able to find add a language so select this one and add the language if you're on any other native language like arabic japanese any other thing it is a mandatory for you to change the language 
to English. And once you're done with this one, parallelly make sure the country or region, that means your geographical should be correct. And you go back and go to the language and region, sorry, not this one, date and time. Make sure the time and time zone is already corrected. I mean, it is already turned on and the time zone is automatically selected. Once after that, go back and try to play the game. For few users, as per the source from the Reddit, it did help it. So that is why I added this. Moving to the next step, that is all about we need to launch the game. And while you are launching the game, press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button. At the moment when you're clicking on the play button, keep on pressing Alt and Tab together from the keyboard. And this did work out for many users because I found this both in the Reddit as well as in the Quora. Many users did mention this and you can try this out. This step did work out for games like Last of Us and all those things, so you can try this out as well. So try launch the game by when you play, but uh, clicking on the play button, press R and tap together from the keyboard. Moving to the next step, that is all about, we need to delete the saved game file if it's already saved. For that, go to File Explorer, go to Documents. If you find any folder named Naraka Blade Point, just delete it and keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions. I mean all the progressions but that is fine just delete it and once after that launch the game from here and that is that did work out for many users as well next one we need to go for allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search go to control panel go to windows defender firewall from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall at the top now from here you just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to n so that it's an alphabet so you will be able to find the Naraka blade point. So if you find anything over here on the uh, over here at the end that as you can see Naraka blade point, it's already added. The private and public should be checked. So next question comes is what if it's not already added over there? So we just need to add it by manually for that. Click on allow another app before browse. Now go to this PC, select local disk C. Keep scrolling down and navigate to the installation folder. Now from here, go to Steam folder. Go to Steam Apps, go to Common. Now, from here, go to Naraka Blade Point. It's very really simple. Okay, over here, select the game. Now, go for Open and go for Add It. So, once you added this, just close this, go back to the game and try to play the game that's going to work for you. Next one is all about we need to unplug all the USB devices. I don't know how this is related, but as per the source, even in the all the forums and even in the Quora and Reddit, this did work it. So if your USB ports are already filled with uh, something like, you know, it's already connected to multiple monitors, Logitech wheels, and even to the controllers, which you're trying to play in the game. So just remove everything from the USB port and keep it nailed. Once after that, just remove everything. The unwanted things should be removed. And after launching the game, once it's successfully launched, just connect back the controllers if you wanted to proceed with the controller. That is what you have to do. Just very simple and quite simple as it is. So just do this. This did work out for many users. Moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go to system configuration. Go for services and go over here. Click on the hide all Microsoft services, which is a mandatory. Make sure the receivable all is always selected. It's actually grayed out for me because when recently I did, did this. So that's why it's grayed out. So once after disable on, go for apply and go for okay. Once after, if it's asking for a restart, just go for a restart. Then once after that, try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay, give commands in the launch options and even close all the overclocking and unwanted application, which is running in the background, which is one of the main reasons for crashing. For that, the first one, just click on the game, right click and go to properties. Make sure over here it is actually unchecked. That means it is disabled. Once after that, try to launch the game. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is give the commands in the launch option. We have to give the first command that is DX11. Give this command in the launch option. If this is not working, change this to DX12. So try with DX11 as well as DX12. Any one of them, any one of them is going to work as fine. You have to give both the commands that is DX11 and DX12. If it's not working, you have to remove everything, keep it nil, and once after that, just like default and close this and go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about we need to perform clean boot. Sorry, not clean boot. We need to close all the unwanted applications as well as overclocking application. For the just right click over here and go to task manager. Over here, as you can see, there are many things running in the background. So at, apart from Adobe, Google Chrome, Screen Decoder, Steam, Task Manager, which is actually I'm using, but apart from there are 81 
apps which is actually draining out my performance and I have to close this one by one that is not gonna work just do a filter idea what you have to do is if you find anything over here named discord just remove it because discord comes under the category overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having the issue and even if you find anything like riva tuner msi afterburn and all those kind of things just remove it because it also comes one of the main reason why all the people across the globe is having crushing issue because overclocking application is one of the main reason so Riva Tuner, MSI Afterburner, all these comes under this category so just remove everything from over here in the background process I mean in the from the task manager and once after that try this is going to work for you like a bingo this did work for many users and even I'm gonna suggest you in the same just try this out if this is not working do not panic we have to move to the next one that is we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search we need to go to graphics settings once after that over here you will be able to find there are a lot of apps which already added over here and you have to do the same for that just click on the browse and go to this pc go to local to c go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder over here now from here go to steam apps and here go to common now from here as you can see you can see that you have to go to uh, over here on the top naraka blade point somewhere i missed but i have to find it so over here okay over here just select this one and go for the application and add it once it's already added the naraka blade point once it's already added just select this one go for option as you can see by default this is be let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once this being set into save just close everything go back and try to play the game Next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory that did work out for many users just go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting go for advanced go for settings advanced once again go for change and make sure this is unchecked that is why you will be able to able to select the local disk C or any of the local disk where the game is installed it is a mandatory and make sure this is unchecked and once after that go for custom size here we have to give the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is three times the total RAM. And if you don't know how to do the calculation, I'm going to show you that as well. Before that, you need to find what is your RAM for that. Just go over here in the search, go to settings over here, go to system at the top, keep scroll down, navigate to about, and make sure the 32 GB is the RAM. So here, my RAM is 32 GB, and you have to find the same way how to find the RAM. Some people ask in the comment sessions and even uh, many more sections over there, they keep on asking the questions how to find the RAM of my computer, and this is how you can do this. Once after that, just close this and go back. Now we need to do the calculation. We need a calculator for the just go over here in the search, search for calculator. Once you find a calculator, just do this. First, multiply your RAM with a constant value 1024. That brings you the answer 32768. Now I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. Now just paste this and we have to move to the next one. That is maximum size. We need to do is 32 GB should be multiplied with 1024. That brings you 3, that brings you 90,304. Once after that, just paste it as well. Now you just need to go for OK and try to restart and try to play the game. Most probably that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to update the windows as well as it is. So just go over here in the search, go to settings once again. Make sure over here at the bottom there is an option called Windows Update and over here make sure Windows Update is up to date. And if you're getting any updates like this or any kind of errors, we have already updated both the videos and articles on our youtube channel as well as the website you can prefer it as well and make sure if you have any cumulative update just go for it and make sure you, you will be getting all the troubleshoot gate how to fix this and make sure the windows is up to date after that try to play the game this did work out for many of the users and if this is not good we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to update the graphics card manually for that i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the md if you're on the nvidia just go to this link in the description that will take you to this page select every details over here and once you select everything like product type product series product operating system download type everything go for start search and from here we'll be able to get the version 531.4 which is the latest version which is released on march 23 just download this one and install this on a pc and restart and try to play the game if you're on the md you have to select the same just select everything over here and go for submit you'll be getting two options either on windows 11 or on windows 10 as well if you're on windows 11 you have to download this one if you're on windows 10 you have to download this one as well after you do this install i mean restart your pc then try to play the game this did work out for many users next one is all about we need to install microsoft visual c plus plus this did help it for many users go over here in the start now go to this uh, page 
Now I'll be providing link in the description, download this one from here, install it on your PC and try to play the game. Keep in mind you should be doing a restart and once after that try to play the game. Most probably after trying this issue has to be fixed. And even if it's still not working, we have one final solution, uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. So uninstalling the game, just go over here in the game, go to manage, go for uninstall the game. While reinstalling it back, you should be knowing that you should not be installing the same on this, I mean, game on the same local disk, change the location of local disk to any other drive. Once after that, just close everything, go back and try to play the game. And these are the possible workarounds you have to try out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. Also, I'll be providing link in the description to our website, Good Troy Tips, where you can refer many more articles on the Naraka Blade Point. So see you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.